give you just a quick backup. So Stephen Meyer, and we've talked about him a little bit on this podcast, just a reminder on who he is. He had published a paper that shortly after Trump was elected, that was about restructuring the global, you know, financial system. And it had a lot of his, a lot of Trump's, you know, ideas, but was kind of this more academic approach to, to, you know, the, the policies that, that Trump was, you know, looking to implement internationally with tariffs and things like that. He then quickly came on board as the like chairman of the White House Economic Council, something like that whatever that thing is called in, in the White House with all the economists. He was the, the the leader of that within the administration. And then he kind of had this unique jump over to the, the Federal Reserve when a seat opened up. And so sort of maybe straddles the line a little bit between, you know, an economist, politician. I think the the really interesting thing that that he did was he he uh, from like a you know pure economist standpoint put out uh, something last week, basically calling for the federal funds rate to be up to two points lower than it is currently, which is a huge, huge drop. And and the way that he did that was by using something called the Taylor rule. Taylor rule is, is a formula that uh, allows you to, to calculate what the federal funds rate should be. So th- I thought it would be interesting maybe today to, to you know walk the audience through how can you calculate what the federal funds rate should be given, you know, the current economic environment? And then also just kind of walk through some of Stephen Myron's arguments and, you know, offer some feedback, some some critiques about that. 